Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really quick one. I got a request to do a review on my Persistence Patchwork Vera Tote. I love this tote. I have been using this tote almost every day since I got it. I did switch to a couple different bags in between um, having this tote, but it is definitely one of my top favorite Vera Bradley items and I'll go through why it is one of my favorite items. So um, it is a little bit rainy out today. The lighting is not the greatest, so I apologize ahead of time for that, but we're gonna do our best here um, for the person that requested a review on this tote. So just to talk a little bit about the uh, meaning for the release of this tote, it was the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment for women's suffrage, women's right to vote, um, just a couple of weeks ago, and Vera Bradley released that this tote on that day. It was a surprise release. Nobody knew it was coming. It just popped up one day. Um, my friend Nicole shared it with me. Thank you, Nicole, for letting me know about that. Because of that, I was able to drive to my signature store and pick up this tote in person. They only had a couple available to choose from, but I was nonetheless really excited um, with my choices and I ended up getting this one right here. So again, the lighting is not that fantastic, but um, hopefully it's it, it'll translate okay. Um, but yeah, so what the tote stands for I think is really special to me. Vera Bradley always comes up with these really unique releases. Sometimes, you know, they have the quilt con bags, they um, do special releases here and there, like with their new Hope Girls items. So they do some really cool collaborations and then just some uh, special releases. And I think this one, so far, it, it's, I even think it surpasses the Harry Potter release for me a little bit. Harry Potter means the world to me. I am a huge Harry Potter fan and I love everything from that collection. But I think the release of this tote, because of its meaning, the tote itself, what the tote is actually made of surpasses every other release that has come out so far for me personally. I just really love it. And just acknowledging the fact that um, the 19th Amendment did not grant suffrage for all women. Um, it was a little more uh, exclusive. It wasn't as inclusive for women of color. color so... Um, with that being said, I still appreciate everything that this tote stood for, and um, I think it brings awareness to a very, very important moment in history, and I think it lines up also very perfectly with what's going on in the world right now, and just inspiring people to go vote, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, whether you just turned 18, or you're 60, or, or whatever, it, it's really important to get out there and express one of your most greatest rights. So um, that message alone is really important to me and I think that's weaved into this tote literally and figuratively. So um, that's why this release is really special to me. Uh, e even though it, it took women of color, uh, I don't wanna say it, it did take longer, but they were fighting alongside white women as well. Um, and when I say women of color, I also mean women of different backgrounds as well uh, that just weren't permitted to vote alongside their uh, white counterparts. So um, just bringing awareness to that whole movement, I think, is one of the most important messages for me that's connected to this bag. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into the, the tote itself. Um, I do have a tag for this tote. I usually don't keep my tags. I did keep the tags to this one because it is a little bit special. It basically just says, it just says the tote commemorates the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. Um, I just don't know where I placed it. But hopefully you can get a good view at the tote and notice that it is a patchwork design. It is a quilt design and it mirrors the um, Cloudvine patchwork tote. So, um, I don't have that tote with me either, but if you do have that tote or if you can pull up a picture, you'll see that the, um, quilt star design is 
identical to that one. They're just using different colors here. Um, and another big difference too is that with the, the persistence patchwork tote, you have the soft, flexible channel stitching. And with the messaging also, I think the channel stitching was the next biggest reason why I wanted to go after this tote because basically with Vera Bradley, I mean, they have played with micro square quilting. They have a lot of items out now that have the macro square quilting, but it's very rare that they play with any other styles. Um, of course, they have, you know, the, uh, the square quilting that they use for all of their other items now, um, but you don't really see a variety of styles. So when they do the channel stitching, it's pretty rare. I think they've only done the channel stitching for a couple of other releases in the past. Like they did um, Deluxe Totes, the Deluxe Iconic Small Vera, and then the Deluxe Iconic Large Vera. Those only came out in Falling Flowers, and then they came out in a couple of microfiber patterns, so, or colors, I should say. So it's pretty rare when they do variations of quilting. So when I saw this was a beautiful patchwork with blues and um, you know, all different kinds of cool references, I was like, okay, I have to have this beautiful channel quilting tote. So you might notice right away that we have elements of French Paisley in this tote. French Paisley is a recent pattern that just came out a few weeks ago. So they mixed that in here and the striped portions of the tote are actually the interior of the pattern Animal Kingdom, if you remember that. That is an oldie release, came out a long time ago. Um, they did a re-release of Animal Kingdom in a few select items back in 2018. And I think it's really cool that they threw this throwback in the tote as well. Um, you also have the Animal Kingdom stripe coming in on the straps there. You can see the pleather nameplate as well. So I really, really like this version of French Paisley. I, I think I talked about it in one of my last videos that I like French Paisley. I think it's beautiful. I think it's great. Um, I just have a triple zip hipster and a zip ID in it, and I think that's okay with me. I don't have any desire to get anything else in it. But I really like how French Paisley is incorporated into this tote. So instead of having that deep purple background, it's more of a dark navy, a more of a classic navy actually. Um, I hope that's translating okay here. But you can see the birds in the pattern. And there are also bees sprinkled through the pattern. I I'm not really a huge fan of bees in um, their Bradley patterns. Here, it doesn't it doesn't really matter to me that much. I mean, I think they're incorporated just fine. So, I mean, that definitely is not like a deal breaker or anything for me. And don't get me wrong, I like bees. I like everything that they do, um, except sting, of course. But, I mean, they don't really sting unless they're provoked. So... I typically stay out of their way, but I do appreciate them for what they are. So um, I typically don't, if there's like a bee only pattern, like there was a bee only pattern, there's actually a bee pattern in the custom section on the Vera website. I wouldn't go out of my way to make a Vera tote in that bee pattern, for example. So I wouldn't like go out of my way to just get a bee only pattern. I just realized <laughs> I did get Charmant Meadow. Um, it's an, it's an, factory outlet pattern. I did get a go-ahead convertible crossbody, but I think just the overall colors and there are bees in it, but they're very stylized. They're very cartoonish. They're very cutesy. They're not like realistic looking bees. Um, so, I mean, that I guess is an exception. Um, this might be a little bit of an exception too, since there are some bees um, sprinkled throughout the pattern, but they're not like the star of the show for me. They're, I mean, I think the, the channel quilting really is the star of the show for me and um, the French Paisley squares. And you also have the French Paisley, um, let's see, let me get find a good shot of it here. You have the French Paisley interior. Um, again, it's a different, the background color is different, but you have the French Paisley interior in the big striped pieces. 
And I was looking at this and I actually think this might be the inside of daisy.paisley. Um, is that right? Daisy.paisley or ditzy.paisley? I always struggle with this. I don't know why. I think it's daisy.paisley. I think that might have been like a, it's like an icy blue um, paisley pattern, all blues basically. I'm pretty positive that that square is the inside of daisy.paisley. Could be wrong, but um, that's what it reminds me of at least. So I really like that Vera used all different kinds of clips of patterns to make this persistence patchwork tote. My favorite element of French Paisley, and I think color-wise my favorite element of this tote as well, are these teal. They're coming out a little washed out. I think the lighting is just really bad today with the rain. Um, I can try to open the curtain a little bit more here actually, see if that helps. Pardon me. Oh, that does help a little bit. So you can see those teal um, pieces in the pattern there. They're like little paisley floral swirls. And I think those are just beautiful. Um, and then you have these more classic blues, these pale blues by that little bird, that white bird with the green wings up there. This one right here. It's just gorgeous. I mean, I. Uh, this is one of the best exclusive releases in my opinion that Vera has ever made. I mean they did such a fantastic job with the concept. Um, I'm so glad that they went outside of their normal um, quilt style to do to the channel quilt stitching. Just love everything about it. I have no complaints about this bag. I have heard and seen um, some reviews of people getting crooked placement um, loose strings. I mean, I do have crooked placement on this tote. Like I said, I only had two to choose from. Um, but to be honest, I'm not someone who's too picky about that sort of thing. I did go into the store thinking like, okay, this is, um, there's a chance that I could get, like, this could be off. It could be, you know, off kilter and things like that. And you'll see, I have an off kilter stripe going down right there. Um, and if you look at the bag, I mean, these two squares, do not line up at all. This one's a little higher, this one's a little lower, um, but those sorts of things do not bother me as much. With certain patterns they might, I think with this one, with the, the patchwork, patchwork's not meant to be perfect. I understand wanting things like lined up and everything, but maybe it's just the fact that I'm not that picky about it. Uh, I, I do understand though, some people got really off kilter pieces on their bags and that does have something to do I think with quality control and that should be fixed. I do agree with that. But when I picked up this bag, I fell in love with it. I thought about ordering a second one, but I mean, even with the idea of knowing I'm gonna return one of them, that's just so much money in my head to like buy um, more than just one. So I was just like, I'm okay with this one. I got a lot of great birds, um, not just on the front, but I got them all throughout the pattern. The back honestly is very, pretty. I mean, pretty even. And I just by, sometimes I'll pick up the bag and grab it and go, and sometimes this side is the side that's facing out. Um, and I don't think it really, it doesn't really matter. You could have it face out any side you want. But you do have, you know, this is the traditional style Vera in terms of function. So you have the slip in the zip pocket and then you have the hidden pocket on the top. So, I mean, to each their own, carry it how you want. So, um, you also have this light colored denim. And I watched Warthog Princess's review on this tote the other day. And she said what I was thinking too, that this denim looks like the denim that they're using with their factory outlet style bags. It's more of a lighter color, soft denim. So that's pretty neat. And um, one more thing I wanna say about the channel stitching. It's very slouchy. It's very flexible. Um, just kind of sitting it on my hand. There's not a ton, ton of stuff in it. And you'll see it just slouches ever so nicely. So it's not gonna stand up as structured as a traditional quilt style Vera tote. I have already compared them. Um, 
For example, my custom tote and foxwood menagerie blue stands up like a dream. It can have nothing in it and it'll stand up perfectly. This one, not so much. This one does fall down and slouch, but I love the stitching so much. That does not matter. The fact that it does that does not matter to me at all. Okay, so if we get inside of the bag, it's a little dark in there, but let's see. Yeah, so you can see inside you have this really pretty light blue pattern. And you do have this needle and thread piece, and I'm going to try to see if I can get a really good piece of the print to get in close with here. Um, so you can see that right there. So you've got like a little needle and a little piece of thread, which is very iconic in its own sense, um, considering the, the, um, ex the name of the tote and what it stands for. So there's all of my items inside of the totes. Um, so basically I have all of the same stuff I usually carry in the pockets, but in the main interior, I have my Mobile Crossover Plus. This one is in the pattern Mosa Mosaic. I got this during the online outlet sale. It's a retired pattern, very hard to find. I have my Happy Snails mask clipped to the back. That way I could put my phone in the front pocket and then I have everything I need on the inside um, I love these things. I've been using the Mobile Crossover Plus since I discovered it a few weeks ago. So, definitely my favorite Stephanie Dawn item. Oh, excuse me. Um, I got this Zip ID. It's in the pattern Enchanted Garden. It is a factory outlet pattern, so you can only get it at the factory outlet stores by either going there or calling your local factory outlet store. Beautiful lavender, very milky lavender background with pops of pinks and very, very pale lavenders. You've got some uh, bright blues. And I think my favorite part of the pattern, which is why I grabbed this Zip ID, is this flower and then this leaf with the blue and the teal. It's just gorgeous. So I did pick up a Zip ID in that pattern and I use Zip IDs as my wallets. So that is in the mobile crossover. I also picked up in the Enchanted Garden pattern this uh, double eye case, which I have my sunglasses in. Oh, let me show you the, the pattern placement on there. I also like these sprinkles of flowers here too. I think those are um, really pretty. And I also got the coin purse with that beautiful um, leaf on it. So I was really happy about that. I really do like these coin purses. They're really well priced and I haven't used them for coins yet. I just typically use it as like a little charger, phone charger bag or headphone bag. So that is down in the main interior and also down in the main interior are my two small essentials cases by Stephanie Dawn as well. And I've got two owl coin purses. One has earrings in it and the other one I keep my wired headphones in just, just so I have a reason to carry both of them. So that is what is down inside of the main interior of my Persistence Patchwork Tote. You do have a zipper top here. Again, you have that top hidden pocket. I typically throw my cell phone in there if I'm taking the whole tote with me. Right now I do have my headphones inside. And I really like the pattern placement up here because I got a bird right so every time I open the tote, that's the first thing I see. So here's what the tote looks like on me. 5'2", 130 pounds. It's very comfortable. I feel like the material is just great. And I know this is a really big tote, but it doesn't feel big on me. It truly doesn't. And maybe that's because I'm not carrying a whole lot of stuff, but it just, feels really great. It feels very stretchy, um, has a little bit of give to it, but it just feels so plush. Just very, very nice. It is definitely, I think, the best feeling bag out of all of my beer bags. It just feels great. And it looks great. I took this, um, we went on a little day trip and went hiking 
and I was just going to bring my mobile crossover plus and that was it. I decided I wanted to bring a jacket. I wanted to bring a hat as well. I take this hat with me everywhere. I've had this hat for years. Um, I wanted to take a lot of extra stuff with me that I knew obviously couldn't fit in my mobile crossover plus. So I decided to take this and I filled it up with an extra jacket, put a water bottle inside. I put some maps inside. It was just perfect. And I just had this on the floor next to me in the car. And it was so nice to be able to reach inside and grab a few things that I needed along the way. Um, I didn't take it with me like into the woods to hike. It was just like a companion travel bag that I filled with everything that I needed for the day. And I think my boyfriend appreciated it too because he threw his um, travel guides and books inside of it. So that's when a beer tote comes in handy when you have a lot of extra stuff to carry. This bag will accommodate it, which is why I have so much appreciation for this bag style. Um, now more than I did in the past because I can carry my essentials inside. If I want to take my mobile crossover plus out and go, I can, um, which is what I've been doing for the past few weeks and it's worked really well for me. Then on the days when I need, you know, whether it's a hiking trip or just a trip to the grocery store or just a trip with a ton of errands to do, I can, you know, if I have stuff that needs to be mailed, I need to go to the post office, I can throw that stuff Typically, if it's not too large, I can throw it down inside of this tote. I'm good to go. This has been amazing. I think I would love to get a second persistence patchwork tote one day because, I mean, I'm using this so much that it's eventually going to get worn down. But the great thing about that is since it has this lovely channel st stitching, it's already very soft and looks like it's been used already, even though I've only had it for a few weeks or a couple weeks so um i just i love this bag so much again it's called the persistence patchwork tote i believe there are still some on the viewer website and the last time i checked not sure if it's still going on but the paperstore.com was having a sale on this tote so if you're interested at least looking at it i highly recommend checking out the viewer website your local signature store if you can or checking out the paper store website I hope this review helped for anyone who needed it. I hope you all have a great week and a great day, and I will hopefully talk to you soon.